Hey everyone, not everyone can afford a brand new gaming PC right now, but maybe you saved up for a new GPU or found a good deal on a CPU and motherboard combo. But a full system upgrade just isn't in your budget. So what do you do? On my channel, I love testing unusual mismatched hardware pairings, taking older CPUs and combining them with newer GPUs to see if I can still get acceptable FPS in modern games. Sure, an older CPU might be a bottleneck in some cases, but does that mean you shouldn't upgrade your GPU and start gaming right now? For today's build, I'm starting with the free PC behind me. I picked up and now it's rocking an Intel i5-4660 CPU, but I'm upgrading it to the fastest 4th gen i5 I have, the i5-4690K CPU. It's got a base clock of 3.5 gigahertz and it boosts up to 3.9 gigahertz. I'm not gonna be overclocking it for these tests. The motherboard is an ASUS Z97 and I'm gonna pair that with 32 gig of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM and a crucial P3 one terabyte NVMe SSD drive. And I'm going to throw in a quick test of how that drive performs as well. But the real question is, how well will this setup perform when I pair it with an NVIDIA GTX 4068 gig card? Well, let's get to it and find out. Come on, let's go! The speed test for this NVMe on this Z97 motherboard was horrible. Now, if this means that the system has to disable PCI Express 1X 2X slot and digs into the PCI Express um, bandwidth, then you might be better off just using a standard SATA SSD instead of the NVMe on this board.
Dream's Nest needs to be destroyed. Let's dance.
about Coruscant? I couldn't have gone far. Or he's let down. <laughs> So I'm gonna go over a quick analysis of what these FPS charts mean for each of the games. I'm gonna call this a game bottleneck analysis and point out what, if anything, bottleneck the game, whether it's a CPU or GPU. For Borderlands 2 at 1080p and 1440p is what I tested at, high settings. This game is pretty much CPU bound at 1080p, but at 1440p, the CPU is gonna take on more of the workload um, performance is not bad overall though, but that's an older game. So let's head to a newer game, Red Dead Redemption 2, 1080p and 1440p is what I tested at in medium and high settings. The CPU is the bottleneck at 1080p due to demanding physics and AI calculations, but at 1440p, the GPU becomes the limiter. Baldur's Gate 3, I tested at 1080p and 1440p ultra high settings. It's more CPU dependent at lower resolutions, especially in the larger cities or larger scale battles. At 1440p, however, the GPU usage does increase with this game. Cyberpunk 2077, at, tested at 1080p medium and 1440p low medium settings. Uh, it's kind of a balance, bottleneck in that the RTX 4060 is a limiter at 1440p, but the i5 4690K starts to struggle at 1080p in crowded areas. The Witcher 3 1080p and 1440p ultra settings, the CPU struggles at 1080p due to its older architecture and the single thread reliance of this game. At 1440p, the RTX 4060 is pushed harder which means the game can utilize it a bit more. Jedi Survivor 1080p and 4K. So it tested out low for 1080p and 4K medium settings. This game is heavily GPU bound at 4K, but at 1080p, the i5 bottlenecks the performance. And this game favors more modern CPUs with more cores and threads. GTA 5 at 1080p and 4K settings very high. This game is mostly CPU bound at 1080p and GPU limited at 4K. The i5 really struggles with physics heavy city areas. My final verdict, if you're still running a fourth gen Intel CPU like the i5-4690K, you're gonna see CPU bottlenecks in a lot of modern games at 1080p. The RTX 4060 is a solid 1080p 
a 1440p choice for a video card, but pairing it with an older CPU means you're leaving performance on the table. So what's the best move? Well, if you're only gonna upgrade one component in this case, I would suggest upgrading the CPU to something newer with more cores and more threads. It will make a huge difference, especially for CPU heavy open world games. If you already have a newer system, motherboard CPU, then the RTX 4060 will make a great 1080p and 1440p gaming GPU choice. But keep in mind, at 1440p, you're going to have to tweak the settings and lower your eye candy in some titles. So let me know in the comments section below how many of you are still running an Intel 4th Gen CPU. Be interesting to find out. So thanks for watching. Remember this tech.